Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance campers, and also some cool use stuff that we get in time to time. So I'm a little overdue for this video here. I don't know why I haven't done it before, but I get a lot of questions, mainly from people with 250 and 2500 series short bed, single rear wheel trucks. Uh, Brad, what, what camper should I go with? The 825 or the 865? So today, we're gonna to be looking these two campers pretty closely going over pricing, weights, what the differences are, and maybe you'll be able to decide between the two due to what I can show you today. Conveniently, I actually have both of these campers in stock here today to tour, the 825 over here on my far right, and then I have two of the 865 models to check out today. So a lot of people may be trying to save on weight. Say you're three quarter tons rated for 26, 27, 2800 pounds, anywhere in that range. You may be wanting to stay as far under that as you can, but still get a nice four season truck camper. So the 825 is gonna be the lighter of the two. It comes in weighing at 2,167 pounds, the way it's shipped with all these options over here. 865 is always gonna come in a little heavier. I've got one here, 2,390 pounds. So there's almost, what, a couple hundred pounds that you save going from the 865 to the 825. So if weight is your issue, you're gonna be wanting to look at the 825 or maybe even the new Squire 825 coming out. Don't have one yet to look at, but I should have one here by the end of the month. Price-wise, sometimes price plays a, you know, actually a lot of the time price plays a role in it. So your 825 is about $4,000 cheaper. 4,000 may not be much to some people on, you know, 40, 45, 50 grand, but to some people it is. So if you wanna save $4,000, or close to it, you're gonna be looking at the 825 instead of the 865. Now, when we get down to features, all plays into what you're looking for. Uh, if you want the largest bathroom you can get, most room inside of a bathroom for you know your throne sitting or showering, you're gonna be wanting to go to the 825. If you want a sink in the bathroom and if an oven's important to you, you're gonna be wanting to go 865. Let's go ahead and check out the inside of these. We'll go over all the options inside and out. Size wise, these campers are about the same. But like I said, if you're looking for the maximum throne space that you can get or uh, most shower space that you can have, you're gonna be wanting to go with the 825. So the difference is the 825 does not have a sink in the bathroom that takes up some of your uh, shower and sitting space here on the throne. I'll show you that. Look at this. Shoulders aren't touching the wall. I'm 6'1". I'm pretty wide also. I'm not the skinniest fella. But uh, sitting here on the throne, plenty of room. Very comfortable. Knees are nowhere near touching the wall. This door will close to give you some privacy. You can be lazy with it and sit down in the shower if you want to. You can use this as, like I say in all my other videos, a, a nice built-in bidet. You can stand up and shower, but you have plenty of space to do your deal here in the bathroom area. Now directly across, you're gonna find a pretty good sized closet. One thing you're gonna notice different between the 825 and the 865 we're about to check out is the uh, kitchen layout. And also the 825 has the two burner cooktop instead of the three burner stove top and the uh, oven. So no oven with this one. If an oven is a big deal to you, you go to the 865. If a sink in the bathroom's a big deal to you, you go 865. But uh, we got a good sized kitchen here. Refrigerator is gonna be identical. And then this one is the three-way fridge. AC, DC, gas. Bed's gonna be the same. Everything's gonna look pretty pretty much the same up here. Same size TV. This one's got a wireless phone charger up there to the left of the bed. We'll check and see if that's the same. Power roof vent. Shelf space above the window. Fold down bunk. You can also do this on the 865, not missing anything there. And then we got the U-shaped dinette. So the dinette is actually in front of the bathroom on this model. Okay, so we checked out the interior of the 825. We're gonna head on over to the 865 now. Like I said, 865, a couple hundred pounds more. You're also looking at about $4,000 more. 
I mean, it may not be quite that much after you know the discounts and everything but at least you're looking at about 2,000 difference um, so if that's not a big deal to you if uh, the couple hundred extra pounds isn't a big deal to you you can get a little bit more stuff with it a little bit more storage so this right here is the 865 now between the two models this one we sell more of the 865s so the bathroom this is where you gain your sink but it also takes up more space from your bath area so let, let's see how i fit in this one compared to the other one let's sit on the throne first of course <laughs> blooper all right so i instantly hit my head on the shower rod put that back up there be careful not to do that again instantly hit my head on the shower rod my knee is touching the wall this is a little bit more cramped but you have the sink so if you like to stare at yourself while brushing your teeth or if you like to rinse off and not make the trip across to wash your hands in the kitchen sink this would be the one for you here we go shower head plenty of head space in here unless you get back there with the shower rod the dinette in this one it's uh pretty much the same it might be a little bit longer just due to the bathroom not being behind it so you might have a little bit more usable dinette space here and uh, whoever is camping with you would probably appreciate that too if they're not up here in the bed with you having the extra little foot space there like i said bunk bed is an option in both campers same size fridge and this one is also a three-way ac dc gas separated freezer kitchen is laid out a little differently but you do gain the oven in this to quite a few people this year this has been a big deal gaining the oven and the larger stovetop area so that that is totally up to you whatever is important to you Bed's going to be the exact same. These are true queen size 60 by 80 inch mattresses. This over here, you may be wondering what that is. That's a little kickstand to make your dinette into a bed. This does have the uh, little pull out drawer over there with a tabletop and the, or countertop and the wireless phone charger. And like I said, same size TV. So all in all, there's not a whole lot of difference same size camper this one actually feels more open not as uh, narrow to get into but like i said larger area to work with in the bathroom on the 825 this one has a sink in the bathroom oven three burner stove top versus two um, this one has the truma aqua go system we'll look at that outside where the 825 has the truma combi they are both excellent units. It just depends what you're really looking for inside of a camper. Now let's uh, check out the outside. So exterior of the 825 and 865 gonna look pretty, pretty much the same. They're almost identical versus a couple of different little things on the outside here as far as storage and what type of doors they're using for the water tank and everything. But uh, anyways, nose cap's the same, fiberglass wall's the same. Both have one 20 pound propane tank on board any waspers in there i don't see any 120 pound tank this one like i said has the truma combi system this is your water heater and furnace all in one it's a great system i had it on my lance enduro camper that i owned both of the campers all the campground connections are on this side outdoor showers on this side now this one actually may have a little bit more outdoor storage than the 865 so that's a good thing to keep note of you can remove this useless sewer hose compartment and get you a little bit more room in here because you're not going to put 20 foot of sewer hose in there anyways both of them are going to have a manual rear awning if you get it added as an option uh, also same for the electric side awning both of these are also four season rated they are true four season campers as well they're not just slap a sticker on it and call it four season uh, both the main dumps are on the back 865 just on the other side both you can get the 
backup camera. Both are fully walk-on roofs, and we'll get to that here in a second. Campground side, electric power awning, same as the other one. Patio lights, same. Outdoor speakers, same. Both campers will have all electric jacks as well. All right, here we are, 865. Everything's looking pretty similar. This is gonna be different here. This is where your Truma Aqua Go system's at. This is the onboard, on-demand tankless water heater. Uh, looks like I gotta get a new cover for this. Looks like it blew off or something. All the, uh, shoot, spider. I just freaking grabbed that, dude. Off camera elimination. All right, um, patio lights just like the 825. Outdoor shower on this side. Like I said, sewer drops in the back just on the opposite side. Manual rear awning, backup camera. This is your only storage compartment on this camper. So on the other one, you had two. You know, although this one's pretty large, and like I said, you can remove that tube there. It's useless anyways. So, looks like just about the same size window, if not the same. Electric side awning, speakers, and your single 20-pound propane tank. Cool. No waspers in that one either. All right, this wouldn't be complete, but... Uh, me not getting on the roof so let's hop on the roof of these things all right here we are on the roof both of these roofs are actually fully walk on and have 20 year roof warranties you're not going to get up here and fall through the uh, roof no worries there uh, now on the 825 one solar panel is all you can do through the factory you can do two on the 865 but they only allow you one on this one for some reason Looks like you have room over here to add another one if you wanted to, which we are more than capable of doing here at the dealership. Roof rack. Now let's get down and on the other one, hopefully I don't fall and bust my butt. All right, here we are on the roof of the 865. Also fully walk on, don't have to worry about falling through the roof anywhere up here. Everything's solid, 20 year roof warranty. And like I said, through the factory, you can do two solar panels on the 865. This one only has one, but we are more than capable of adding another. All right, so that completes our tour, the 825 and 865, what the differences are. Um, I'm not claiming to know everything, so if you notice something that I didn't, go ahead and comment it below. Um, I'm not going to sit here and act like I know everything that there is because I still learn every day. But uh, that's kind of the highlights of what's different between the 825 and 865. Basically, price, price. Um, the 825 retails 4,000 lower. Weight is uh, pinpoint number two there. We're looking at about 200 pounds lighter on the 825. That is Lance's lightest four season truck camper, by the way. Um, and then larger bathroom due to no sink in the uh, 825 no oven so it's going to be a little bit lighter but uh if you're looking for all that stuff you go to the 865 uh, like i said we sell i've probably sold three 865s per one 825 that sells so 865 is definitely the most popular one but we sell our fair share amount of 825s as well and what's exciting is they're coming out with an even lighter 825 called the sq which is their squire series uh, SQ825 layouts pretty much identical to this should have my first one in probably by the end of this month so that'll be something exciting to look forward to if you have any questions you can always call me at 423-892-6272 if you're not a subscriber already go ahead and do so join this fishing fun family we are almost to 30,000 subscribers which is awesome I never pictured us growing that big, but I'm glad we are. So I uh, appreciate each and every one of you. If you liked the video, found it, found it informative, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Let's YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. Might be enjoyable to watch. And then, like I said, comment if I left anything off that you noticed. And then uh, you can also call me if you're interested in either of these models, need uh, direction on what kind of truck to buy. I can definitely help there because I see what works best with them. 
So uh, like I said, 423-892-6272, give me a call. You can email me, I'll have that in the description below, but we can get a week's worth of emails done in five minutes over the phone. So I prefer that as I do stay pretty busy here. I just got about five, 10 minutes to spare here today. It is a little slower. So whenever I get a little bit of time here at the office, I'm gonna do a video. Until next time, y'all take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.